This is a story of a man, a story of a man's work, a skilled craftsman with his hands. With a semi-centennial of dedication, knowledge, and experience, the best of the best, an unsung hero of the food industry, this is the story of my father, Butcher, a life behind the knife. Welcome, Welcome to the Glee Meat Market. Hi, I'm Chris Jolly. We're at the Glee Meat Market with uh, Danny Jolly, famous butcher, yep. and uh, my nephew, Danny's grandson, Jacob Jolly. That's right. Okay, now I'm gonna do what you call a Scotch lamb chops. It's a belly of the lamb. I'll make a pocket and I'll stuff it with some ground lamb and I'll make some Scotch lamb chops. So give me a couple of minutes and I'll do it. That's the ground lamb that we did. So I'm gonna stuff the, <clears throat> the belly. So what we do with this, we put two little string on each side, like that. And what I do, I just make a little design on it there. And we put the spice in, and that's what it's used for barbecues, the scotch lamb chops. It's really nice, it's not expensive. And there you go, looks like a hat. Well, there's my son and my second son. And um, I showed all the kids to do the same as I know. So we learned, we grew up doing it, we all worked in the shop. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's yes, really sir. neat to be part of a tradition, something like this, a long standing tradition in the family. Yes, and uh, we, you know, we would have liked to follow in our father's footsteps, but like you said, it's not a, it's not a, a gainful employment these mm -hmm. days anymore with the big grocery stores. It's just what happened, it's all the big stores are coming on there. They're open seven days a week, seven nights a week. Some of them will work all night. But the thing is, it's not the same quality. Uh, we do a better job and we trim well. And so there you go. And the way it's going right now, I say in the future, it's gonna be a dying trade because no kids that want to take over. Because first of all, there's no school for it. And what you have to do to learn the butcher, you gotta go into a meat store and learn with a butcher yeah, like It's me. not something you learn overnight. It takes years and years of That's right. And it takes there. a long time. And that's what happened. The kids, they come in and they work for a, Oh, let's say three months, four months, and they say, oh, you know, I'm not gonna do this because, you know, it's taking too much time and I'm not gonna do it. And, it, and the price, the, amount, the money is not the same. You know, we have to face that, you know? That's why we wanted to do this. We wanted to get some footage of you working and yeah. it is a dying trade and we want to document this. You're one of the last of your breed yeah. and one of the best that ever done it. Yeah. So uh, that's why we want to share oh. this with everyone. Over here, we have Stefan that takes taking over the, the business, the, the dad's business. And he's, he knows all the, the, what's had to be done with the meat. And so he's probably, probably one of the last one that, uh, you know, that's going to do it. So we don't know what's going to happen. Next, the future, I'm going to tell. This is the story of my father, Butcher, a life behind the knife. <laughs>